What's up guys, welcome back. Coming right after, after we just did those uh, donuts in the snow drift at the Evo, I got my Evo. Uh, we're at the car wash. The reason we're at the car wash is because I want to, one, pressure wash all of that dirt that we got from the uh, donuts. But we are dropping off all of these parts here to get them painted in gloss black. I think I'm going to choose a color that's the OEM Evo uh, or Mitsubishi black. It'll look really good. But that's one of the things I want to do with this car is make this car look OEM plus. And uh, I think this will be a big difference. So the first thing we're going to do is hose all these off. I did want to show you guys a quick before and then after. Look how dirty this thing is. That was so fun during all those donuts. Look at that. So we're not going to be doing the side skirts. I like the side skirts. They're actually gloss black. I showed you guys how to install those quite a while ago. Uh, but we are missing that front lip. It'll be gloss black. It'll look really, really nice. Um, and in the meantime, I might wrap that lower part mid blade black. But I'm going to do this all in black. And then I'm going to do this right here. A little mark right there. I'm actually going to do that in um, red so it's gonna be rally red so it'll be it'll look like the rally red just continues all the way down on this side and then the middle will look black it's gonna look really really nice um, the car looks hilarious because I did remove the um, vents and then I did remove the hood scoop and the hood scoop was actually wrapped in, in uh, matte black like the hood used to be uh, or the roof used to be the, currently my roof is in gloss black and I just had this redone it looks really really good um, but I'm gonna do a nice gloss black for all three of those pieces that go on the hood here. And then you can actually see how functional that is and it goes right into the turbo. Look how cool that is, it goes right into the turbo. So I love that. So let's go ahead and here's the before. We'll do a before. And I'm gonna spray this all down real quick here and we'll drop all this stuff off paint. And I'm really, really, really excited. Uh, you can see all the, I had to remove these um, and I haven't gotten the, all the, the 3M tape off. So I will do a nice detail on this car before I reinstall all that. Uh, but I did unscrew, just had three screws on the back, and then the front lip had about 10 screws on. Okay, so here is the after. Like most car guys, I don't use the brush. So I try not to use a brush because it'll scratch the paint. So I just use soapy, the hot soap first, and I go over the whole car, get it real scrubbed on there with the, pre the just the pressure washer, and then go over with the water. It's not gonna look clean when it dries, it never does. Um, you gotta hand wash cars, but it's way better than what it was because it was caked with dirt. Um, and then as you guys can see, I did hose off the stuff that we're painting, and it's so much better because it did have so, so much dirt on it. And uh, I'll go ahead and wipe these down with one of my microfibers, but I did scrub all those off. So these are all the things that we're getting painted. The car looks so goofy. This will probably be the thumbnail right now because <laughs> uh, the car always looks like, it looks kind of dorky in my opinion without having the, uh, the front lip on it. But when I get the front lip that's in red, rally red on the side right here, it's gonna look so aggressive because this line right here will be black right there in the middle and then this will be red. And I think that'll just make the car look like it's that much lower to the ground. I'm gonna leave it with the carbon fiber deletes or the fog deletes and leave it with the carbon fibers. I think those look really good. I might polish those. I don't think they need repainted, but I might polish them. And then one of the things that I do need to do is all the mesh, because there's so much mesh on the front of this car. It all needs to be spray, uh, spray painted gloss black. Or you can actually touch it up with a little paintbrush. So I might do that as well, is uh, touch all of it up. Because this one you can kind of see definitely needs it more. And then this one a while ago, I did touch that up with the paintbrush. So I'll make it look all brand new. And then I don't have, currently have a nose badge. I actually would pop mine off and I might get like a carbon fiber nose badge for the front of it, but I'm not sure. I think the red and black is kind of my scheme and I think it looks really, really good when you have a red and black theme throughout the whole channel with all the cars. I think, I think that that's kind of my favorite thing is I really want to, oops, sorry guys. I really want a SW20 that's in red and black. I think that'd look really, really good. Speaking of this guy, woo, red and black over there. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and jump in the car. I'm gonna pack all this stuff up. We'll head over to my buddy Clayton and drop this off, drop the Evo off to get painted. Let's go do it. All right, I'm pulling into the city. Oh, I love driving this Evo. The other, the other thing that I've noticed is that I don't have any of the hood stuff. Listen to how, how noisy the intake is. <laughs> it's like that STM intake is so noisy now. It sounds awesome. Listen to that. It's, it's like even more crisp it comes through, but I absolutely love it. It's the best way to dry off your car is going in the, the fast lane. It's the best way. So uh, we're about halfway there, and then we're gonna go ahead and drop all this off. I do have this just sitting in the car with me. Um, I do need to wipe it off a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, I love that new interior over there, that gloss black, that was such a great investment. All right, look how goofy this looks. So goofy. I cannot wait to finally have those in uh, the Rally Red or the Rally Red to match because I've been run running them in black for so long. I think like 
like three years. So I'm so excited to finally have these. So these will be in Rally Red. This will be in Rally Red. This is gonna be in black, like a um, like a Mitsubishi color black. So I'm gonna look for, oh, I don't know what that color code is, but I'll find out what it is in a second. These are also gonna be in that black. And then the, um, the front lip will be two-toned. So let's go ahead and drop these off. Let's go bring them inside. Okay, so Clayton's going, um, to get the uh, some paint chips to match, so you can match the rally red, and then um, we're just gonna do a black, so a matching black, um, which will look really, really good on these. Um, this right here is gonna also be black, um, so black, black, black. Like I said, rally red, um, which is gonna look so, so, so much more aggressive and make the car look so much, so much more modern. I think. <laughs> I'm, t I'm telling you, the Evo looks better right there. I'd totally take an Evo over the over the X. Oh man, that looks so good. Two X's, I guess, right? That door, though, I'm so glad I just did that. It looks so, so good. And then the other thing that I'm, I'm really excited is finally get rid of that center shifter. And then I got a new um, center part coming in. I told you guys that I'm gonna be doing a video on that. And I have a new shift knob coming in to complete the look. But the Evo's gonna look so, so good when it's all done. I still want some, um, I would love to have the Recaros in leather. I'm in the market, so if you know someone, let me know. Sam, please. Sam, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good oh yeah, you can see, yeah. All right, and just like that, we're done. So we've dropped the Evo off, or the Evo off. <laughs> Evo parts. I'm still got my Evo. Uh, I'm thankful I don't have to drive this thing. I'll uh, drop this thing off. I love daily driving this car. If you don't own an Evo, like an Evo 10 is like one of the best daily drivers. Only issue, literally only issue. I think the maintenance is pretty good in my opinion. Uh, the only real issue is the gas mileage. It sucks. The gas mileage sucks. But power and then comfy wise, how comfortable it is and the back seat and all that. I mean, I could carry all that stuff back in the back of this car. Um, amazing daily driver. So we dropped off those parts. Uh, I'd say like two to three weeks we'll have them back um, and I'll reinstall them I'll pick them up do a video of probably picking them up and reinstalling in one video um, I'm so so excited though I've been wanting to do that since I got the car um, I've had gurney flaps and I've always wanted gurney flaps but they are just in that the like polyurethane non painted um, so I'm glad I'm gonna have it painted and the um, the uh, hood is gonna look so amazing with that front lip so make sure to hit the like button subscribe guys hope you enjoy this i'll be back probably with that center console thing the shifter and the shift knob probably soon that'll probably be the next video on the evo so i'll see you guys next